My first car was a Beetle. You know, your first car, it's a life changer, isn't it? When, you, when you're a teenager and you have a car that's yours, that you've worked for, and it, it's the first time you have independence like that. And where I lived in Scotland, it was so beautiful there, you know, and I, I could go wherever I wanted. And I'd been sort of limited to places that I could cycle my bicycle to. And now I could go much, much further. You know, I could drive it into Edinburgh. I could go to Glasgow and go to big cities. I remember the, uh, I had a stereo in it and I had uh, orchestral maneuvers of the Darks album. There's some music now that when I hear, I'm just back in that Green Beetle. <laughs> it's just perfect. It's perfect. I've reflected on why do I love this car so much, and I've looked back, and I've and my parents had them in the 70s when I was just growing up. Um, there's a picture of my mother holding my brother as a baby who's two years older than me in front of a red beetle in Glasgow, I think. And then there's a picture of me as a schoolboy, like five years old, standing in front of an orange beetle that we had. I'm sure that's why I ended up buying one when I was 16 because I. I love them. I love the shape of them, and I, I'm, I've known them since I was, you know, nothing really, I guess. We found an old, crappy looking car that looked like it had been in an alley for most of its life and uh, put it back on the road. And I love that. I love, put, I love sort of the idea of um, saving them, you know. The Beetle started out as a as a tool, as a mode of transportation. It was like any other product that's out there in the world. But it's endeared itself with people that have experienced it through their life and now collectors that want to relive those memories and and have that emotion back are holding on to these things tightly. Even in the last since I bought mine here and America, like the prices of them are going crazy. This car maybe three or four years ago might have been Thirty thousand dollars or something like that, and now it's probably double that. Right. It's extraordinary, and and what what happens, I suppose, is encourages people to drive them less. I mean, I think if you're if you're paying that kind of money for a car, then it does become something that sits in a collection or in a collector's collection, and 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 maybe doesn't get driven very much. I I, I like to drive mine. I like I like to get mine out and give them a blast. You know. Sit. There's something about being in this little blue car that's really just one of my favorite places in the world, it is. I love the, the simplicity of it all, and it's so, it's so very beautiful. <laughs> I think it's got a lot to do with not growing up. Somewhere in me is still that 16-year-old boy who got his first car and never kind of got over it.